We had a very mild fall, but like every other year, winter has come again and it's time to think about heating the cabin. We love our wood stove on a cool autumn day like this, but one problem with it has been that it has no cold air intake. That means it draws all its combustion air from the building, and that means it pulls it through any cracks or gaps in our insulation and causes drafts. So today I'm going to add a cold air intake and hopefully increase the efficiency of the stove and make it more comfortable overall. I bought a selection of different pieces of ducting from the big box store. I'll decide what I'm going to use when I get to the cabin. It's important if you're going to do this that you add the air intake to the ash drawer and not directly to the firebox. So I've already cut a hole in the back of the back plate of the stove and I'm trying to decide whether I want to go down through the floor to get cold air from under the building because we have no basement or I can go out through the wall. The downside of going through the wall is it means there's more, there's more pipe inside the building that'll be cold. I do want to put some insulation on this but still an exit through the floor would be the shortest route. It does mean removing a small bit of concrete which uh, I don't really have the proper tools for but I think this is the way I want to go. There are several reasons for using air from outside the cabin when burning in the wood stove. Air from outside is colder and denser. It has more oxygen than air from inside the cabin. One of the greatest parts of having a cold air intake is that you no longer have to start the fire with the door open a little bit to get that kindling going. You just light your kindling, close the door, open the damper to your cold air intake, and the fire will take off like crazy. And another benefit is you don't have any smoke in your cabin. I know I always used to leave that door open a little bit and you just get a bit of smoke coming out. Now, not a problem. Having a cold air intake also allows you to control the intensity of the fire more easily. If you open that up fully, you can get a good combustion going and have a good roaring fire. But you can also damper that in air intake down and thereby damper down the fire and have it burn more throughout the night. That combined with your damper on the stove and you can really vary the intensity of the fire. Well, the old Ryobi cordless let out the magic smoke, so uh, we're going to go back to old school Mastercraft, see if it can handle it. I never get this lucky. Look at this. My hole is going to come out right in the middle of the two joists. Thank goodness. What led me to try this cold air intake was the fact that when we had a good fire going, you could actually feel the draft coming from the other side of the cabin and down the, we have three stairs to an upper, little upper level. And you could feel like a cascade of cold air coming down to feed that fire. Now with our cold air intake, there's no draft at all from that area. When you install your cold air intake, you want to think about where it's going to be installed that's not going to be subject to a lot of wind and where snowfall or leaves or other things don't cause blockages. Also, you should put a screen on there to keep animals and insects out. We normally burn good dry oak, but sometimes we do burn birch and pine. And with the cold air intake, we seem to get more of a complete combustion, less ashes left over 
and the intensity of the fire is warmer overall. Another benefit is that the glass on the wood stove seems to stay cleaner. We get less soot buildup. I've also noticed that using a cold air intake helps the stove draft more quickly. And I think that's because the cold air coming in is denser and as it heats, it's expanding and causing upward pressure and making the uh, exhaust gases go up the flume faster. Well, I hope this has inspired you guys to think about putting a cold air intake into your wood stoves. I gotta say, it's made a huge difference. We've done some uh, back of the napkin kind of math and looked at how long it took to heat the cabin in the past and how long it takes now. And it's significantly quicker with the cold air intake. And it makes the whole cabin a lot more comfortable. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends. And we will see you next time on Ontario Lakeside. Thanks for watching.